All right, good morning, people. Welcome back. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going fishing for Atlantic salmon and to a lesser extent, rainbow trout, maybe even brown trout. We're gonna be doing this by trolling and casting. It's really cold today. Like, I mean, like, you know, pretty cold. So low 20s. So it's not gonna be the most comfortable, but we're all geared up in terms of clothing, dry suit, we're in no danger. It's just gonna be cold, man. Let me get all my stuff rigged up here. We'll get out in the water and see what we can do. When I first got here, it was 19, but it's warming up quick. Pretty good conditions. It's sunny, so that might warm up the shallows. They might want to come to the sun, warm up in the shallows a little bit. So I th I'm thinking the shoreline, of course, is going to be our best bet for catching fish. This is what I'm going to troll. It's a two-fifths ounce little Clio spoon, kind of like a aquamarine, green-blue, split color with silver, hammered silver. Conventional wisdom says on a sunny day that you want silver because it has more flash and the fish are more likely to notice it. Is that a fish? What is that? It's a fish. It's a fish. We got one. We got one. We got one. All right. Little guy. But we're on the board. Come here. I just want to hold on to you for a moment. Unless you're 15 inches. And I'm gonna keep you and eat you. But I don't think you are. 13 and a half. Nice, nice, nice fish. Off he goes. Fish. Fish. We got a fish. Good one too. Good fish. Good fish. Well, he's shrinking. He was good though. Shrinking again. For a fish that size, he hit hard. How did you do that, dude? You know what you're gonna have to do is just cut it and retie it. Cause I got it through one side, but it was the wrong side. So we'll just retie it, that's fine. He is 14 and a half. All right, so upgrade, but not a keeper. Pretty fish. Nice. Nice one. That might be a salmon. Yeah, I don't think that's a rainbow trout. That might be a salmon. Yeah, you guys tell me. Anyway. 
Off you go. So, let's get back to trolling first. Hey, Lita, what's up, man? Pretty good. Uh, I'm not marking them. I've caught two so far. Small ones, 13, 14 inches. Oh, you did? Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm basically just trolling. I'm getting him in like 10, 12 feet. Yeah. Good luck, man. I had a rod that I had set up for casting towards the shoreline with a quarter ounce jig with a soft plastic swim bait on it. All I did was replace it with uh, a one ounce jig. So that if we wanna, instead of casting at the shoreline, we see something deep and we want to drop down vertically we have that option but other than that i'm just going back to trolling now i'm going to take a really wide berth around this island here i think there's a ledge off the off the end of it i might spend five ten minutes trying to jig a laker now i'm jealous i passed by alita fishing on the dock there and he said he caught a 27 inch laker and now i want one too we can jig a salmon too. Like, I mean, if we look on the fish finder, if we see a salmon, if we see a fish swim, like there's one right now. I'm gonna stop right now. Drop the jig, see what happens. Probably nothing. My line's all frozen. Who knows what's going on with my spoon now? <laughs> Where even is it? Oh, it's over there. Of course, nothing happened there. The camera was off. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so you see all this bullshit? You see all this? My line got caught behind my motor. Um, and I was trying, I like couldn't get it wrapped around. I can't even talk. Let's just get this fish unhooked. Oh my God. I can't believe I had the camera off. Well, I can actually, because I didn't think there was any chance that this was going to happen. All right, let's see. Is he on the hook still? Yeah, he is. This might be a keeper fish also. Hold, hold, wait, 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 wait. Hold still, buddy. All right. So, I'm just going to leave him there. He's fine right there. See all this? See this? This line, this braided line, is wrapped, got wrapped around my motor. I saw a fish on my screen suspended at like 30 feet and decided to stop my motor while I was trolling. This is a really dumb thing. I'm telling you something you should never do. Uh, I decided to stop my motor while I was trolling and drop a jig to see if I could jig this fish up. And of course, my trolling spoon just went, you know, just sank to the bottom. After I unsuccessfully attempted to jig this fish up, my braided line was stuck around my motor, like I said. So I couldn't reel it. I couldn't use my, my fishing line, my fishing reel to reel it. So I had to grab the end of it that was on this side of the motor as opposed to that side of the motor and hand line it in. 
and I was laughing to myself the whole time. Look at this, look at this mess. I was laughing to myself the whole time. Watch, you got a fish on the end of this. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, I do. Let's take a look at him and measure him. Ha! I can't believe that happened. Let's take him out here. Yeah, he's, I don't think he's a keeper. It's possible though. This is a salmon or a brown trout. Dude, that's a brown trout. He's totally a keeper. This is totally a keeper brown trout. Yeah, that's not a salmon. Oh, no, 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 no. I want this fish. It's going to be a keeper. Kid's bottom jaw on there. Yup, 15 and a half. Yep, okay. First keeper fish. And caught in the weirdest way, not on camera. I'm going to take this fish and bonk him so that I can show him to you a little better without risking losing him. And then I'm going to get another rig tied back on. And, uh... And we're gonna keep fishing. That's definitely a brown trout, not a salmon. You can tell because he has spots on his gill plate and below his lateral line. Other than that, they look very similar. Let's take a good look at him. Brown trout. Pretty. There's our first keeper, like I said, caught in the oddest possible way. But that's because it sank to the bottom. Brown trout like to hang out on the bottom a little bit more than salmon and rainbow trout do. So I'll cut his gills and let him bleed. That was weird. And we're good. We lost all this braided line, but whatever. I'll trade it. I just really wish I had gotten it on the camera because it's just such an oddity, you know? All right, folks. Well, that's gonna do it. It is very cold. I'm anxious to get all my stuff put away, get in the car and warm up. We trolled. We had fun. We got a keeper. It was cold, but that's winter in upstate New York. It was worth it. It was fun. Thanks for coming along with me. Again, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. It means the world to me. Um, thanks for coming along. Until next time, bye.